Commander 2 Mobile allows you to use your keyboard and mouse to play games or access the apps on your mobile device as if you were using a computer. Here's how to set it up. To set up the Commander 2 Mobile, you will need either a PlayStation PS4 controller or you'll need an Xbox controller with the model number 1708, which is the Bluetooth compatible controller for Xbox One systems. First, connect your PS4 controller or your Xbox One model 1708 controller to the Commander 2 Mobile's side port using the supplied cable. Next, connect your keyboard to the keyboard port and your mouse to the mouse port on the back of the Commander 2 Mobile. You'll note the ports are labeled with icons indicating either keyboard or mouse. If you have a wireless keyboard and mouse combo, connect the dongle to the keyboard port. Next, connect the Commander 2 Mobile's USB port to a USB power supply. It is important to note that the power supply must be capable of delivering at least two amps of power, so you'll want to use something similar to an iPad charger or other charger capable of delivering a minimum of two amps. Next, you'll need to pair the Commander 2 Mobile to your device. If you are using an iPad, iPhone, or Apple TV, the default setting is for iOS devices. To change the operating mode for Android devices, press and hold the Alt key and the F7 key simultaneously. That will change the operating mode from iOS to Android. The LEDs on the front of the Keymander 2 Mobile will change to flashing green. Next, you will need to pair the Keymander 2 Mobile to your tablet or smartphone. Open the settings menu on your device and then go to Bluetooth connections. Make sure you are in pairing mode and then look for either your PS4 controller or your Xbox One Model 1708 wireless controller. You may need to turn your Bluetooth off and then back on to make it search for your device. Once you see your controller listed, make sure you tap it so that the device pairs. Note, if your controller is not visible within 30 to 60 seconds, press and hold the Alt key plus F3 to force broadcast of the game controller Bluetooth signal. The controller should then be visible so you can pair. Next, you'll need to download and install the K2 Mobile app so that you can program your Keymander 2 mobile device. To find the K2 Mobile app in the App Store or Google Play Store, type in K2 Mobile Game Dock App into the search bar and it should find the K2 Mobile app for you to download. Note: Make sure the icon shows the word mobile under K2 to confirm you have the correct app. Once you have the K2 Mobile app downloaded into your device, you will need to make sure you have GPS turned on and you will need to make sure that you have Bluetooth permissions enabled so that you can pair with the device. After the download finishes, Open the app and accept the location permission request or the device's Bluetooth low energy function will not allow pairing to the Keymander 2. After accepting permissions, swipe left through the basic features tutorial screens, then click start tutorial and swipe through the basic connection screens. At the end, the connect device screen will be displayed and the K2 mobile app will look for your Keymander 2 mobile for connection. While it is possible to play games and to configure your Commander 2 Mobile using the same tablet or smartphone, we actually recommend using a separate tablet or smartphone from the device that you're actively playing on, so it makes it easier during setup. If you have your game open on your tablet or smartphone and you are using a second tablet or smartphone to configure the device using the Commander 2 Mobile app, you'll never need to switch between screens, so it becomes a much easier setup function. To pair your smartphone or tablet with your Commander 2 Mobile device, you'll need to open the Commander 2 Mobile app. Once you open the app, you will see a connect button on the screen. Press and hold the Alt key plus the F2 key on your keyboard simultaneously to enter pair mode. Then, your Commander 2 Mobile device should show up in the pairing menu. Press connect and the units will pair together. After connecting, the K2 Mobile app will check for firmware updates and if an update is available, it will give you the option to update now over the air through your mobile device or to update with the PC. Select Update Now, and depending upon your wireless data connection, it will take approximately 5 to 15 minutes to complete. After the firmware update is completed, you will need to reconnect the K2 Mobile app to the K2 Mobile device. Press Connect on the app screen, then press Alt plus F2 to reconnect the devices. After the K2 Mobile app reconnects, it will load the default iOS profile. Open the Game Center tab on the K2 Mobile app, and use the search function to find the game you want to play. Locate the version for your device, iOS or Android, then make sure to find the correct controller version, either PS4 or Xbox One, then tap the game's cover art. You will see the in-game settings required to use this profile and a download button. 
Make sure to pay attention to the required in-game settings, and in case you forget them, you can refer back to this page later after you finish setting up your device. Press the download button to save the profile into your mobile device. If there is no profile available for your game, open the library tab on the K2 mobile app and select the default profile for your mobile device and controller type, then press the up arrow. Then click the account icon in the upper left corner to open the account settings screen. The sign in screen will be displayed. Click sign up to start creating your free account. Enter your email address on the email line, then choose a password and username for your account. Next, enter your date of birth, then agree to the terms of service and you will receive a verification email to authorize your account. Now that your profile is loaded, you may edit your profile to change mouse sensitivity, dead zone settings, key bindings, aim down sight settings, etc. The default mouse DPI setting in the K2 app is 4000 DPI and you must set your mouse to match. While our recommended settings of 3500 to 4000 DPI work fine for most games, we do encourage you to test other DPI settings. You may find that higher settings like 8000 DPI or more may work better for you with some games, depending upon things like aim assist, etc. In addition to allowing you to play games, the Commander 2 Mobile also allows you to be more productive when using the apps within your mobile device. Use your mouse for navigation or drawing, and use your keyboard for typing extended length emails and texts and things of that nature. To enable office mode on your iOS device, open settings, go to accessibility, and select touch. Go to assistive touch at the top of the page, then enable assistive touch and scroll down to device. On the keyboard, press and hold the Alt key plus F1 to activate the office mode. Once in office mode, the LED on the Commander 2 Mobile will turn white and you go back to your device, go to Bluetooth devices, and select office mode to connect. Once connected, you can use office mode to navigate through your device as well as use the keyboard to type out your emails, texts, and things of that nature. To exit office mode, press Alt plus F1. To enable office mode on your Android device, simply open the Bluetooth menu on your device, then press Alt plus F1 on the keyboard. When office mode is displayed under parable devices, press office mode and wait for it to connect. Once office mode is enabled, you can navigate through your device using the mouse, which will bring up a cursor on screen. You can also use the keyboard to write emails, texts, and things of that nature. To exit office mode, press Alt plus F1. 